Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Roll Play Oblivion. Here we are, having camped out on. Uh, whatever this in little inlet of the. Uh, Ibn is. Lake Vermeer. White. something. river. Can't quite make out the word there. Um. <clears throat> Our objective today is Fort Robeck. We have to eat some breakfast, though, first. And we're rather fully encumbered. Some water. A little water. Maybe we'll fill up our canteens in the stream here before we go and just hope to God it doesn't give us a disease. Um, take one of those. Eat the strawberry. Right. Let's try it. Um... Did I fill my canteens then? No. Apparently I have empty canteens. Where are those? Where are they, damn it? Well, I don't know. Whatever. I'm sure it's around. Um, surely we'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe I mouse, mouse right over it and you guys saw it and I just didn't see it. Um, right, so our objective today is Fort Robeck because we're about to begin our search for Claudette Perrick's Alembic, her missing Alembic. And this is one of the locations she gave us. Now, I know from having playtested the mods that if you don't check every possible container in each of the locations that the merchant gives you, you might miss the actual object you're looking for. So I have to check everything from barrels to crates to dead enemies. I mean, it could be any one of those containers. So um, it's, it's a little bit frustrating because if you miss one and it happened to contain the object, when you've searched all the different dungeons that the original quest giver provided you as possible locations, the only thing that your quest log says is, "Oh my, I've you know I've searched all three dungeons. I will have to look harder, basically." Um, so I definitely want to check all all possible locations on the first try. Why did I check up there? Well, because there's sometimes hidden crates and stuff. Anyway, let's dive right into the dungeon then. Fort Robeck, here we go. It's morning, we've got a full belly, a uh, full night's sleep. We're ready. You have now entered one of the places Claudette Perrick believed the unique retort could be found. Well, here I have been saying it's been an Alembic, and now it tells me it's actually a retort. God damn it. We're looking for an Olympic, whether I say so or not. I see torchlight down there. This is a dead end. Covered pot, some jugs, nothing else of interest. Wait a minute. No, I'll actually take the covered pot. It's not a container. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, check every possible container. Because we slept in today, because we needed to, we were up so late last night, it's actually already a couple of hours after midday, so this dungeon could take up our entire day. Hmm. Uh-oh. Interesting. Hard. I can, I can, for some reason, pick locks on hard doors. I can't pick them on hard chests, though. But let's wait a second on that.
Hmm. Actually, that's a bad idea. <gasps> Trap. Just slew some enemy. Oh boy, conjurers. Kind of thought this was going to be in here, given... Oh, you shifty bastard. Oh, I'm down. Stand up, Nevish. You broke some arrows. Stand up! I'm down again, and I'm dead. Okay, so we... It's really just one conjurer and a scamp. You'd think I'd be able to handle this. Okay. Just don't get knocked on your ass, Nevish. Surely he came down the stairs. Did that conjurer? No? Alright. Well, if he doesn't want to attack me, then I'm fine not attacking him at the moment. Um, bedroll? Uh oh. Aha, I'm immune to fire, my man. Well, almost immune. Scamp skin. Well, it's heavy, but it's an alchemical ingredient. I can't really pass it up. No? <gasps> oh. Okay, it's not what I was looking for, but it's something. Apprentice Alembic. The chest... Contains the unique retort that Claudette Peric wanted. Well, that's very easy. Uh, take it and bring it back to Claudette Peric. Well, that's freaking fantastic. Here I am saying, everyone, <laughs> I will have to search every possible container in this and two other dungeons. And who knows, even then I may not even find it. And then the game's like, no, no, actually it's right here. Alrighty. Fine. Well, I'm going to go deeper, because, um... Why the hell not? Hey, check it out. More crazy ale. Beer. Liquor. Let's see what we can accomplish in here. Ah! This is where the trap laid low our assailant. Sure, I'll take it. Let's avoid the trapped weight. Well, maybe I can loot his body without getting killed. Mmm. Okay. And okay. And okay. Mmm. I'll risk it. <coughs> Now I have to get back out of here, I forget. Uh, elegant chest. Might be trapped. No? Apparently not. Whoa! It's quite a powerful potion. Harada and a greater soul gem. Worth it to go through that trap. Um... Ooh, poor bastard. Look at that. Getting more bloodied by the second. Let's push on. Let's go until we can't go any further, basically. Winter Station. Hmm. Yes, somebody heard me, I know. Are they 
down here. This is scamp. And somebody who has seen me. Drop that there. Oh, hello. Hello! Apparently that's it for now. Yes, save it. Thank you. Alright, before we jump down there, let's take the judicious way. God damn it, no. Don't turn on a light right now, Nebish. What the hell? How did I just die? What? I don't even know how that makes any sense. What? <laughs> what? I, I, um, I shot a clan fear from distance with an arrow and somehow that instantly killed me. Who's there? Me. Hey, I'd better cut down on the ale. I'm starting to see things I am. There's a burning something right behind her. Ha ha! Take that! A hellhound. Oh, I didn't hit it. Okay. Ha ha! Take that! A couple of headshots there. Apparently, the clan fear didn't. What the fuck? That was really spooky sounding. Apparently, the clan fear didn't hear that though. Oh, I missed. Stay there for a second, you bastard. Why does killing the clan fear kill me? Okay. A little buggy in this dungeon. Well, I suppose I'll just, um... Perhaps... Fight it with a sword. Ah! Oh my god, he just made me do a backflip. Ow! You s son of a bastard! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, clan fears are apparently hell on earth. Uh, save. Go back to the after combat, please. Jesus. I need those. Eh. Okay, I lost the arrow, but whatever. No, it's right there. Really? Okay, you don't see me. Ha ha! Take that! That sound, that is a horrifying sound. Like this whole place up. Okay, nothing over there. Ah, dead ghost. I mean, I guess all ghosts are dead, but. A no longer um, combat viable ghost. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna take the arrows just so that I have more steel arrows without having to go to my arrow case. Ah. That will get me pretty close to over encumbered, but I'll go with it. What the fuck? Alright, let's go gather up some torches then, because we don't need them back here. Right. Hear them talking. Hmm? That's another cell, so they're in here somewhere. Apparently they're a ways away from me. This is perplexing. Aha, it's you. Oh, come here. No, 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 no. Uh, it's just her, huh? Her I can deal with. There's another one somewhere. No, goddamn scamp. The bastard. Okay. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. So where's the, where are the other ones then? So that's where I shot the the scamp from before, right? Ugh. All very grotesque. 
Who who can possibly be hearing me right now? Check this whole damn dungeon. Right? Have I not? Maybe not. Luck, arrowroot, and gold coins. Okay. Very easy. Average. Mmm. Don't open it yet. Now open it. I did. I dodged the trap. Oh, very good. Silks. Hmm. Very good, take all. So then where the hell haven't I been in this dungeon? Maybe this area I haven't fully explored. Maybe there's somebody still wandering around over there, but I sure don't know how they could have gotten past me. Yet I hear them speaking. Like right here, right? This is where they'd be. Huh. They're above me. How are they above me right here? There's nothing above me. I put it to you that they are somehow outside of the cell. But all the same, let's check. No, nope, I don't care. I don't care that much. I've got the Alembic. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, reminds me of uh, Young Frankenstein. Get me out of here. Get me the hell out of here. Oh, stop it. I don't know how you ended up up there. Some bug. Surely. What the freaking hell? My god. Here I am drinking wine, you crazy woman. How dare you surprise me like that? Oh my god. Yeah, take the torch. What the hell? So where am I then? Ah. Winter Station. Apparently, I haven't been over here. And there's the surface. That's presume. No, that's Winter Station. Where's the surface? There's the surface. Okay. Uh, presumably, I haven't been over here yet, but. Oh, I know where this is. I know where this is. This is the door that I would have to unlock with a hard lock, isn't it? This one? Yes. Let's see if we can get this way. If not, I'll pick the lock. Whoa! I'll take it. Um. Ugh. Not keen about going underwater, but. So then, what's down here? Anything? No slaughterfish, please no slaughterfish. Bone. Bones. Okay, so nothing loot-wise. That means I do have to go through that door to get out of here. 
Because I don't have a jump spell that'll get me up from there. Alright, this might take a while, you guys, opening this hard lock. Hang on. Ugh, stop it. Stop it! Quit, quit! I s stay on a pick. Stay on a tumbler. Oh, of course. Of course. Bastard. <laughs> Bear with me, everyone. Fast forward to the end of this lock picking uh, window if you don't want to see this whole goddamn mess. I'm trying to get myself out of this damn dungeon. What? No! Oh, you. Yes, there we go. Okay. Oh, that took long enough. Really, Fort Robeck? Hmm. Fine. Well, at least I got the Alembic. That's good. Oh, right. This way. So then what we'll do is we'll eat some lunch when we get topside and uh, head back to the Imperial City because we got a lot of loot to sell and we've got Claudette Perix, not a Limbic, her retort, her retort, that's what it is, her retort, to return to her. There it is, our destination, through the trees. So, we'll start our next day's uh, exploration right here at this little elbow, right there. We'll work our way down this stream, then back up to the shoreline of the lake, and then around again. And we don't have to, if we don't want to, Explore Sard of our lead or Fort Sejanus because we've already found um, what is her name? Claudette Perix Olympic. So, you guys, I have gotten the video quality and processing to right about where I want it. A perfect balance, I think, between um, quality of the recording. Oh, how am I going to get across the stream? I'm going to have to just jump or swim. Um, quality of the recording and something that I can actually process afterwards. I'm over encumbered because I'm tired, apparently. Um, oh, God, it's almost dinner time. Let's just eat. Uh, about the Berserker Special Brew, sure. And some food. I need a good, good amount of food here. Radish and rice. Yeah, there we go. That's enough to walk with. Okay, good. Eh, get me to the shore. Almost out of it. Fatigue, I'm almost falling over. Oh god, my eyes. Oh, also I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's great. So even when my eyes straighten out, I'm still it's still gonna be blurry. Oh god. Drunk at 4 30 in the afternoon. 
Okay, I think it's over. Good. Oh, hello. Settlement of some kind. Well, we'll come back and check out the settlement another time. Uh, Pell's Gate, apparently. More importantly, I need to get to the bridge. Which is over here? Hello, fellow traveler. By what right do you disturb I don't disturb you, I simply say hello. Bridge? Bridge? I could use a bridge. Where's the bridge? The bridge is east of the waterfront, so I know I'm heading the right way, I suppose. That's good. The bridge is going to be right there once the LOD kicks in. 